In this video, I will show you how to straighten your verticals when shooting real estate or architectural styles of videos using Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro X. Hi, I'm Grant, and I hope you're all doing well out there in this very strange time, because I'm recording this right during the COVID-19 lockdown, which I know is a very, very testing time for most of us out there. As I referred to earlier, I'll show you how to straighten your vertical lines when shooting architectural or real estate styles of video. And specifically more, this applies to more when you're shooting interiors on ultra wide angle lens, which often can distort your vertical lines inside your properties. So why do you want your vertical straight? If you look at any good architectural or professional real estate styles of photography, you will often see that, the, the, especially when you're shooting the interiors, the vertical lines of the walls or the doors, they are generally dead straight. And that is a sign of professionalism that, that our eye is actually used to now. So when you perhaps see a video shot, say for example on the GoPro with its ultra wide lens and you get those very bendy looking verticals, it just looks unprofessional. So straightening your verticals can add a look or a, or a feel of professionalism to your videos. Now I come from a video background where it hadn't really crossed my mind until a real estate stills photographer pointed out to me that my verticals weren't very straight. And since then I do my best to shoot them straight or straighten them up when editing to, to add a more professional look to this style of video. Straight lines and architectural styles of video or real estate styles of video, once you have your verticals fairly straight, they will often add a more pleasing look to your eye. Now the two best ways to keeping the vertical straight in your videos are, number one, shooting it correctly in the field. Now this is by far my favorite and the most efficient way of keeping your verticals nice and straight. And number two is fixing it in post-production or editing. Of those two methods, the one that I use most is obviously trying to keep my vertical straight when I am shooting out on location. So often when you're shooting real estate, especially interior real estate or architectural styles of video, you will generally be on ultra wide lenses, often in the 18 to 20 millimeter wide or 35 millimeter focal length. Now the best way to stop your, your vertical lines bending when shooting is to keep your camera when shooting horizontal to the ground. As soon as you start tilting your camera up or down is when you start seeing your, your vertical lines diverging and converging and basically making a mess of anything straight in the shot. And this is often a great thing about using a handheld gimbal when shooting real estate interiors on your wide lens is that when you start them up or reset them they will often reset to a perfectly horizontal position to shoot in so therefore it will minimize or automatically align your camera perfectly with the with the floor surface or the floor plane and basically minimizing the effect of this vertical distortion from wide lenses. And also if you're shooting on a more zoomed in style of lens such as 20, 28 millimeter and up, the effect of vertical distortion is reduced. However, as most of you interior real estate or architectural shooters will know, we are often sitting in the 18 to 20 millimeter focal range and they are particularly prone to distorting the verticals. So that was method number one, which is the method that I would recommend that you concentrate on first, and that is shooting it more correctly in the field to try and reduce the amount of vertical distortion. And the second method is correcting it in post-production, and I'll switch to my computer screen now, and I'll show you how you can correct it inside Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro X. Okay, we are in Premiere Pro, and I have loaded in a clip here to show how I'd correct the verticals in here. And I'll play down this clip first so you can see what's going on. That's it, just a wee short clip. Now if you notice this clip, now this was shot on a, just as an aside, shot on a slider with my GH5. Now if you look here on the left here, look at these verticals here, sort of sloping out and left. And on the right they're doing the opposite, sloping, Not they're not going straight, they're going up and slightly out. And, and then in the middle here, the whole thing looks like it's sort of, I'm not quite sure what I was thinking here, but sort of it looks like it's sloping down to the left. So the two ways that you can attack correcting verticals, and the first thing I'll do, and often you may only need to do this, and that's to go into up into the effects panel, and let's go to rotation, and let's rotate it. Now I'm looking in the middle here to, to line up the middle first to make sure that this, to start off with we've got looking fairly vertical in the middle there. And that looks about maybe yeah, about there, actually probably about 1.5 rotation. Looks about right. Now you'll also notice obviously that we've, now we've because we've rotated it, we have some black showing through on the side of the frames here. So I now use the scale tool here and then I'll just scale it in to get rid of the black. And there we go, that's gone. 
Okay, now we come down to the effects panel and we look for an effect called corner pin, which is here. We drag that clip onto, or that effect, sorry, onto my clip. Now we go back up into the effects controls and what we can do here is essentially distort it if you like using the upper left and upper right and lower left and lower right points. So let's start on the left here. You'll see there's two columns. One is, is, the, horizontal, is the horizontal effect and this one on the left here is the vertical distortion effect. So let's just reset those and start that again. So let's, let's start on the upper left and see if we can straighten this up a little bit. I'm pulling it back and maybe just bring it up a little bit. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that actually. Now let's go to the upper right. Same thing again, let's bring that in, try and straighten up that wall there. And that again, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Now let's just play that down. Make sure I'll render that before we play it down. That is pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Looks pretty straight, if anything. No, that's pretty good. Now, if if another thing I've often used here to help eyeball it is if you go into the wrench menu beneath your, your program monitor and then go down and you'll see an option here called safe margins. If you click that, it brings up an overlay of these lines. Now, safe margins are a throwback to the broadcast days where because of the way television was broadcast, you essentially had to keep your titles and your action inside these boxes, which is called the title safe area, because TVs had different scanning rates and different different ways they broadcast or, or received and transmitted the pictures. So you had to basically to, to err on the safe side to be within these within these boxes. But it's kind of the thing of the past now, but they are still useful because now you can use those as a line for helping or a guide to help line up your verticals. So if we look on the left here, they are pretty good. If we look on the right there, we could probably do with a little bit more on that upper right portion. So let's just bring that in a little bit more. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I'll just lose the safe margin again. And I'll render it. And I'll play it down. I am pretty happy with that. So let's have a look at the before. So that was before we straightened our verticals, and that's after. And that is essentially what I, or all I do for straightening verticals inside of Premiere Pro. Okay, I am now in Final Cut Pro X, and we're gonna do the same thing. I've got the same clip loaded into my timeline. And essentially what I'm doing is, is pretty much using the same tools that I just use in Premiere Pro. And that is, I'm going to rotate the clip first to try and line up the center part or the center verticals in here. And then I am going to distort or, it was called corner pin in Premiere Pro. And in Final Cut Pro X, the features or the same features are in the distort menu over here in the inspector. So let's go to the rotation first. So select the clip, go up to the inspector. Now let's find the rotation and let's line this up so it's a little bit more vertical. That looks probably, looks pretty good. Now I'm going to have to scale that in to remove a bit of the black off the side. Yep, that looks pretty good. And now we go down here in the inspector menu and you'll see the distort um, menu. Click on that. And once again, it's the same as we just did in Premiere Pro in that we can start pulling on the bottom left, bottom right, top right, top left. Now, also, we use the safe margins to help me line up the verticals. And you can do the same again here in Final Cut Pro X. And if you click on the view menu in the top right, and then if you scroll down here and then show title action safe zones, and there we have the same overlay again, which can help you give you a nice eyeball to help line up your vertical. So, Let's go again, let's start over here in the, the let's go the bottom left. Let's grab the X and let's pull that out of there. That looks pretty good. Straight away about there. 
and let's go to the bottom right and let's pull them back out a little bit and then the top right there how about that that looks that looks pretty straight to me Actually, I might just use go back to the Y axis on the bottom left just to bang that out there and you'll see I've got a little bit of black showing down under here so let's scale it in a little bit more to reduce that now here we've just let's go to the top right And that is pretty good so I'll just take away the safe title action safe zones again and let's play that down I'm pretty happy with that actually so that was let's show you the before and after so using the distort so that is before and that is after and that is how and that's pretty much all I do to correct verticals using Final Cut Pro X so that's that. Now depending upon your budget and the speed or the time frame that you have to turn around your video, I often don't, don't actually spend a lot of time trying to correct my verticals in post-production because it can be very fiddly and time consuming. So I concentrate first on shooting it correctly in the field. But however, you can use these tricks in Final Cut and Premiere Pro to help straighten your verticals. So that's it from me. I hope you're all keeping well and safe out there and I will see you in the next video.